Crude, here we go. Let's take a look at the uh, overall setup. All right, the first thing we look at is trend filter. The trend filter will be the Magenta MA. If it's angled down, the market is in a downtrend. If it's angled down, it's in a downtrend. So we want to sell retracements. We have the HVA here. The volume profile is the most important, the solid red line. Solid red, blue, and green. Those are the most important markets to trade off of. And it's the price profile is right below it, or right on top of it, I'm sorry, giving us two times stacked area. So when that came up, we had a big negative market delta. The fill was 37, like Steve got. Good job, Steve. 37 fill. We're all the way down to my target. I said my target on this descending triangle was 48.60. When the market was up here, we're at 48.66. That is just a beautiful move to the downside. Then the market came down, and we got a retest with the Fibonacci dots, broke the LBA, Fibonacci dots sell, broke low value area, the best way to trade low value area, first break, first retest. That it coincided when LBA was here also. My LBA at the time was exactly right here on a retest. There was your LBA retest before it moved out. It was right there. So the market broke, it retested, and I said if you take shallow retracements, you can use the momentum indicator to get in. The momentum indicator, which I talked about, Leo, if you're going to take a trade like that, where you want to use the momentum to reduce risk, right there is a close red. You want to take shallow retracements or second test trades using the momentum indicator. When it closes red, you can enter the position. Your stop loss is going to be two ticks above the swing high initially. Then if it ever closes green, it can close blue but not green. If it ever closes back the opposite color, you can pop yourself out at a small profit or a small loss in the, initi in the initial phase of the trade. But it did not. It was red all the way down. So here's another trade. The fill on that trade was $48.99 fill. Got all the way down to 48.67. So those were the two big trades here this morning on crude. Right there. And then we had also another big one right here at 49.10. 49.10 was on market profile and had a volume flip. What a volume flip is, to make sure you understand, a lot of traders jumped on this trade. A volume flip is when you came down to low value area, it had a 198, and then the next close of market delta was a 413. That told us the sellers took over the buyers. It's got to happen exactly on the next bar. And we had a beautiful volume flip right there, 413 short. It's a lot larger than 198. So that is where another trade. So we had three opportunities this morning. We had crude short here, crude short here and crude short here. And they were all market profile generated. If you look at them, those were our three trades on crude this morning and they worked out absolutely beautiful. They were all sells because the trend was down, short, short, negative 239 market delta, negative 413 market delta, Negative 295 market delta. What do I tell you guys and gals? Anything over 200 on crude oil is a major sell imbalance. All right. Now my projection on the symmetrical wedge this is forming, I mean the descending triangle, it was forming a descending triangle. And I said if we break the descending triangle, I made this formation for you guys this morning. I said we break the descending triangle right here. Oops, get this out of the way. We break this descending triangle. The target would be the width of the triangle, which I showed in the room how to do this. So you take the width on the breakdown, and there's your overall target. Imagine that it just came down to exactly my descending triangle target. And I projected this 
even before it broke the low of 49.10 because that's a descending triangle. Lower highs, flat bottom. You take the width of the descending triangle, you add it to the bottom on the breakdown, which we're, we're looking for on the volume flip, and it came exactly down to my target that we talked about. All right, so this is how you trade. Knowledge is power in the markets, guys and gals. Either, either you get it or you don't. You know, so this is all leading indicators. I'm trying to show you how to trade market profile with market delta and how we can trade these leading indicators using both together. Very, very simple rules in the room. The market can only do two things. It trends up, goes vertical on you, right? It can trend up or down, or it can go sideways and chop. Chop this morning. We sold the high, bought the low on crude. Then I said we're looking for a break of the descending triangle. Target all the way down to 60s, and we got it. Go over to um, gold, Gerald. Now, gold... We had a beautiful trade on gold, just like crude. If you look on gold, Gerald, flip it over to gold. Gold, buddy. Okay. Here, we had a good extension. It broke outside of my developing profile, HVA. There's your first retracement. Very similar to the first retracement on crude. If you look at crude, crude was a breakdown of LVA, if you look at it. And there was your retracement short, right? So if you look at broke through LVA, first retracement, Fibonacci dots, there you go. Gold was opposite. It broke out, first retracement, positive market delta, and shot up. We had a nice almost $400 trade right there. So you use market profile right here, this developing profile, when it breaks inside and outside on the first retest. Now, what I set traders up on is I set traders up on this, and I set this up way before it happened. I said to look for a develop, I mean, a corrective wave all the way back here. So when the market was here, and we were sitting at this level on this move up, I told traders in the room to keep a corrective wave back in the back of your head, this trade right here. How did I project that all the way over here, this, this counter trend trade? Why would I know to do that? How could I project when the market's exploding to the upside? How would I know that a possibly can go into a corrective wave and give us a $700 potential trade? Well, it's moved up now to 26. It was 23 at the time. How would I know you have a potential of a five to $600 trade on your hand, risking 130 bucks? How do I know that? How would I know at 820 and now the corrective wave is just after 930, how would I know that an, almost an hour ahead of time because I know what the market likes to do at session highs and session lows. Set, a session high is after midnight right here. So the market was sitting at a session high. It kept pushing up, pushing up, pushing up. So when it was at a session high like this, I told traders, if you get back inside of developing profile, look for the first retracement for a corrective wave down to LVA. Okay, that's the only time you can counter trend trade in this room. You can't counter trend trade according to my method unless you get back inside this developing profile and look for the first retracement like this. That's just being knowledgeable. That's being smarter than your trading opponents. That's just trading leading indicators versus lagging. Just like I projected the descending triangle before it broke. You have to know these things based upon market profile. Market profile set both trades up. It's not that I'm, that 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 uh, market delta set everything up. It was market profile that sets it up, and then we use market delta to pop ourselves pop ourselves in the trade. Because when we get this corrective wave right here, look at negative market delta, huge negative market delta, negative one thirty, and that was projected almost an hour before it happened. So there's your fill. Your live fill should be seventy to eighty. Live fill all the way down to 29 already, almost 200 bucks on this setup. It could turn into a $500 trade. We only risk $130 per one contract. That's all it is. Don't make trading difficult, guys. Trading is a learned skill. Okay? You're not born to be a trader. You have to learn how to trade market profile correctly. I get tons of traders that trade market profile that come to me. 
that are absolutely non-knowledgeable about, about market profile. They trade a 30-minute market profile, they trade the VWAP, they trade all these crazy techniques, and they just don't work. They just don't work. You've got to trade the internal order flow of the market. i got longer-term profiles for you. We can project the stuff way ahead, but you've got to make sure market profile sets it up first and then market delta, not vice versa.